Hello, everybody. Getting ready to do sixth grade math, uh, 8.2 lesson, 8.2 part one of our sixth grade math, 8.2 percent fractions and decimals. When we have a 55 point class worksheet today, then we have a four point notebook sheet today. And we're going to go right into our lesson, no bell work today. How can you write equivalent percent fractions and decimals, writing percents as decimals and fractions? You can write a percent as equivalent fraction or as an equivalent decimal. Equivalent percents, decimals, fractions all represent equal parts of the same whole. So uh, we go into an example here. Example one, Lorenzo spends 35% of his budget on rent. What Write this percent as a fraction and as a decimal. Write percent as a fraction, so 35% equals 35 over 100. Percent means per 100, so it'll be 35 per 100. Step two, write the fraction in simplest form. So 35 over 100 as a fraction, we divide through by five, we get 20, and then divide through by five, we get seven, seven over 20. So step three, write percent as a decimal, 35% equals 35 over 100, which equals 0.35. These were all representations of 35. <clears throat> Write each percent as a fraction and as a decimal. So 15% uh, uh, would be 3 over 20 here. 15%. 0. 0.15 would be 15 over 100, which reduces to 3 over 20. 48% now as a fraction would be 12 25ths or 0. 0.48 as a decimal. And then 80% as a fraction would be what? It would be 4 over 5. And then 0.8 as a decimal. 75% as a fraction would be 3 fourths or 0.75. And then 36% would be 9 over 25 or 0.36. And then 40% as a fraction would be 4 tenths or 2 fifths. And then 0.4%. Explorative modeling decimal fractions and percent equivalencies. Using models can help you understand how decimal fractions are related. So uh, model 0 0.79, 0 0.78 by shading a 10 by 10 grid. 0 0.78, uh, 0 0.78 equals what over 100? It'd be 78 over 100. So blank out of 100 or 78 over 100 or 78 percent. So that'd be 78 percent here and this would be what it would look like in a uh, in a grid here. Uh, be 78 squares filled in out of 100. <clears throat> and then uh, 1.42 by shading a 10 by 10 grids, quote grids here, 1.42 equals what 100 plus 42 over 100, so it'll be 100 plus 42 over 100 equals 142 over 100 equals 100 equals 1 and 42 one hundredths. And so 1 and 40, 1.42 would equal 100% plus 42 would equal 142% would be uh, 1.42. And then model 125 by shading 10 by 10 grids. The model shows 100% uh, plus 25 here. Here's 25. So 125 equals the decimal 1.25. 125% 1 equals 100 over 100 plus 25. So that would equal 125 over 100 would be 1 and 25th. 1 and 25 one hundredths or 1 and 1 fourth is what these uh, grids would represent there. And then multiple representing decimal fraction percent equivalencies are shown in each model. What decimal fraction percent explains? So we have this thing here. What What is represented by that? <clears throat> 0.13, 13 out of 100. Got 13 squares here, 13%. 13 out of 100 are shaped. So that would be that one. <clears throat> What do we got here? So we got 100 here, and then what's over here? We got what, 30? So it'll be 1.3 or 1 and 30 one hundredths, or 1 
and three tenths, 130%, one whole, and 30 out of 100 parts are shaded. So all of these would represent the same thing there. And that is part one of lesson uh, 8.2. And part two and part three are available here. Test worksheets, etc., all available at this email. Thank you very much.